they look remarkably similar. Alligators and crocodiles diverged evolutionarily during the late Cretaceous period. This is Mr. Jam speaks comparing these similar Both reptiles belong to the same kingdom, phylum, class, and order. It is only after the family where both of them diverge into their own paths leading up to the species of crocodile and alligator. The first prominent difference lies within their snouts. The crocodiles have more of a V-shaped snout, while alligators have a U-shaped snout. Talking about their hides, hides of crocodile tend to be more of a light tan, whereas alligators are usually a dark blackish gray in color. Crocodiles are generally larger in size. An adult crocodile can grow up to 19 feet long whereas alligators can reach up to 14 feet. The biggest recorded crocodile was about 2,000 pounds and over 23 feet long, while the largest recorded alligator was about 1,000 pounds and 19 feet long. So crocodiles win in terms of size. They both are excellent hunters thanks to their strong senses, with sharp, above water night vision, sensitive hearing and vertical pupils, they take in additional light. Both alligators and crocodiles are a nightmare for their prey in dark environments. They can also detect pressure changes in the water to locate and capture their prey. The sensory pits along their jaws perform this function flawlessly. Online crocodiles are usually slower than alligators. However, they are both much more agile and fast in water, where they can use their long powerful tails to propel their bodies forward. Alligators tend to have shorter humerus bones in their forelimbs and shorter femurs in their hind limbs than crocodiles. Both reptiles prefer to swallow large chunks of food items or swallow the whole animal, making them not a big fan of chewing food. Crocodiles have special glands in their tongues which excrete excess salt from their bodies. This means that they are capable of spending days or even weeks in sea and salt water. Alligators, on the other hand, have these glands but they do not work efficiently, so they usually prefer freshwater habitats. Alligators are only found in parts of the US and China, whereas crocodiles can be found across the world. The saltwater crocodile is the largest and most aggressive type of crocodile. They are also the largest living reptiles. They can be found in Southeast Asia, and on the northern coast of Australia. Alligators and crocodiles are highly dangerous reptiles. Crocodiles are much more bad-tempered. Alligators, on the other hand, are a bit timid animals as compared to crocs. Crocodiles can grow bigger than alligators and therefore their bites can be more lethal. In terms of aggression, crocodiles have an upper hand as they are much more aggressive and likely to attack even if unprovoked. There is no match when it comes to their hunting skills. Their subtle yet ruthless attacks are very effective in catching their prey. The preferred method for alligators to catch prey is to ambush animals at the water's edge and drag them into the water. However, 
adults will sometimes venture up to 170 feet from water to look for prey. Their main prey are animals they can kill and eat with a single bite. They may kill larger prey by grabbing it and dragging it into the water to drown. Critical to the alligator's ability to initiate a death roll, the tail must flex to significant angle relative to its body. Crocodiles clamp down on their prey with their strong jaws, crush it, and then they will swallow the whole prey. Biting strength of both reptiles is similar and the general consensus is that the size of the animal is the deciding factor, regardless of whether it is an alligator or a crocodile. The bigger crocodile species will therefore tend to have stronger bites than alligators. But it depends on the relative sizes of the actual animals being compared. Alligators can consume almost a quarter of their body weight in one meal. They have the capacity to absorb bones and other hard parts in a matter of days due to their extreme acidic stomachs. Crocodiles have incredibly strong tails. Trevor Frost, a National Geographic photographer, recorded this mind-blowing clip which captured the tremendous amounts of strength their tails possess. You can see here, their tails are so strong that they can propel their entire body out of the water in a matter of seconds. Let me know in the comments down below, who do you think is the stronger and more fearless beast out of the two.